Okay, gonna give some seven minute games a go. Let's see how we can get on. Aim for the target of 1600. Uh, we've been floating backwards and forwards 1400 to 1500 and 1400 to 1500. Just working out the system. Uh, there's some strong players on these sites, so you know, I'm in no rush to get to the 1600. Um, we are aiming towards the 1800 on the other side, but we're taking our time, real nice slow jog, just to get used to the idea and the concepts and see if there's anything new that we can bring to the table. Okay, so we're off here. And just try to use, fall back onto the mantra. It's not about using every single concept within it, it's about using the right concept, the right moves at the right time. You may only use a snippet of it. So in our experience, we don't like this particular position, you know, with the knight putting pressure here, the bishop attacking here. So we sort of fallen for this position. We should have probably brought the bishop out yeah, to here, and then that would prevent the knight from coming to this position. So I have to go to this position that I don't like at all within this game. I don't like this opening because it's I don't think it's very good for black. If white plays it correctly, you know, they're still the pawn up and they can improve their position, especially if they're utilizing their queen to attack or defend the bishop. I still think that's a stronger one doing the queen thing, but I'm going to just bring the bishop out and attack. It's a very rub it's a rubbish opening is this for black. And We'll just have to see how it pans out. So it's not actually taken the um, bishop. It's keeping tension. One knight's looking to come here, but his bishop's knight's there. Could push on to the bishop now to make a decision. But we haven't got space to go on castle either. So that is a question. I'm gonna just press on again that's another duff move i think i moved a bit quick there so i'm going to bring the knight off because this pawn was going to come down and grab it so i'm going to take with the bishop yes okay so we're targeting this pawn here but we're still looking to really go and get castled so we need to get our pieces activated attacking the knight etc so he's guarded so could bring the bishop out attacking his knight but is his knight just going to dance somewhere i think i'm going to bring it here because his rook is potentially coming here going to be putting pressure on so we lose tempo if we go shooting across here we do have our knight that is protecting this square so if we're castled there's not too much damage at the minute so i'm going to castle into the fire castle into the wind castle into where the pressure is only because we oh no i could have taken the queen oh for crying out loud <laughs> so busy stylizing oh my god oh that's terrible that you know getting caught up in the narrative and i've missed the golden opportunity to simply take the queen off the board i'm going to pay the price for that now aren't i Oh my giddy, what a missed opportunity. Oh. Because they're taking the time now, they've realised they've made a mistake by putting the Queen there, so they're going to move it. Damn and blast! Oh, <laughs> I'm so good. I'm hoping they don't move it. But they're taking that long now, they must have realised. Or maybe they're thinking, well, he's gone on castle, then maybe my queen's not in danger. Oh, that was so shabby. Now I'm going to have to work hard, you know. I think it's equal, or are they plus something, or... They're plus one, it looks like, on there, so... We would have had a major advantage in that game. They're taking a really long time actually. Yeah, 
Look at that. Absolute. That's disgusting. Let's go here. Let's bring the rook here. Yeah, that's a big, big missed opportunity. Absolutely waste of time. I was too busy talking. But that's what your brain does as well. Your brain can get carried away with thinking of the movements that you're going to make and not really looking at what the opponent can do or what you can do to them. I'm just going to take pieces off the board now because I'm a, I'm a bit annoyed with myself there. And let's hold this pawn to ransom. This queen's targeting our pawn here. He's probably looking to get this bishop here, so he's probably going to be getting his queen across, or maybe across here. So we need to look to see if we can get the advantage back, utilising the concepts that we know. So I can now push on to the queen, smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Just try and use the, sn the snippets of information that we have within the mantra don't want to overload anything and we don't want to miss big gaping holes like capturing the queen that's just terrible so how are we advancing we're inching towards the king area and that's the answer like we said the <coughs> queen was going to end up here potentially might go for a sacrifice so that he opens up our king area so we have to be very mindful of that so i'm going to bring my bishop here the queen is protecting here as well so if he does take we take the bishop we've also got the bishop attacking this pawn here so it's kind of holding the rook to ransom for a few seconds maybe want to make space for this rook to come here or to here supporting these pawns so it's a general idea our opponent is not interested in any of that so he's wanting to open up his rook so he's on this pawn we get a check on the king for a little moment so we can take here with the check we can now push up or we can come down for their queen but then obviously we're doubling our pawns so i'm going to just try and advance the pawn up a bit we could go and attack their pawns here with the queen but because he's got the rooks probably no point doing that so we are targeting their king area their queen is in a very dangerous position it can swing down to the bottom and we can open up just mindful when we are opening up we do have they do have sights of this type of activity and the queen taking the pawn here with the rook having that so we could just push past the pawn i think that's what we'll do but then it's going to just put pressure onto our queen at the minute he's only got a one-on-one -on -one, but then this rook up whoa 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 it's got to check on my king I'm just going to move the king hopefully to safety to the side so his queen is working singularly at the moment is he looking to just yeah the rooks are coming across like we mentioned um he's only got a one on one at the minute but I'll move it out the way his rooks probably coming down he's going to get this pawn isn't it so we could come and attack their queen but his rook's still going to come down for the pawn or come for this pawn here he's going to have a two on one so it's a little bit sticky really but he wouldn't have had that queen on the board if i'd taken it with the knight would he so we're going to grab here so i think he will get this pawn we have an advanced pawn so in theory we're better but that pawn potentially isn't going to last too long so i'll probably give it to white in this instance because he does have a poor majority on this side yes yeah, so it's coming down so i'm having to play defensive which is not really clever and um, we can take i'm gonna have to just probably keep it simple but then he's going to link up his pawns but he's going to link them up anyway so we may as well just take this pawn has got no protection on so does he drop or do, and then we take so i'm going to take here we're supporting this pawn at the minute it's going to come down for these pawns it's 
So is there something with us pushing here? Well, we're a few moves away from doing all that, aren't we? Let's just push onto the rook here. So potentially goes back again. Then this rook comes up. So I'm going to have to fashion a way of getting here. But I think it's a bit too slow. As advanced as it looks, this pawn, I'm not too sure if it's going to work for me. Yeah, so it goes back. So we can come here, kind of momentarily stopping his rook from coming here, but we're also attacking this pawn. Ideally, we want to get here to here, but that's not going to happen because he does have his rook there. <sighs> so... I think the aspect is bringing this here, but then his rook comes down because he's on the inside, so it gets a check, but we get the rook. Looking to double up on the on this rook here, maybe. I think the king's going to come to the side now, to the pawn. He's taken the... He's taken the pawn. Felt some pressure. Oh, he's given up. Okay, well that was an interesting one. We came back from losing, losing an ideal position of capturing their queen. But that shows the focus again that we put into the in finding a, a good position on the board as best possible. Uh, the opponent had the advantage, but we wanted to improve our position on the board. Doesn't matter how many pieces you've got on the board, if they're not in the right places, then you may as well have no pieces on the board. So quite an interesting game that. Oh, we're on. Okay. Oh, he's going for the gambity thing. Let's just develop. I mean, we can take and we can not take. It's entirely up to us. When it comes to in type thing, got to remember that if you take it, you're losing time in developing other pieces. So so long as you know if you do take it then you know that you need to really get good positions with the remainder of your pieces as you're trying to develop so there's no no wrong or right way in dealing with the gambit situation just so long as you know you need to develop your pieces and you need to get your king safe some of these gambits they'll draw you in so that you take 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 and then eventually you've got a bad position so you have to be very careful um one of those situations is right here let's go here because what he's wanting is to champion the center with his knight and his pawn so what he's done is he's disheveled our king's pawn. Let's just take this pawn off the ball first. He's coming down for this pawn with the queen. It's not doing that just yet. So is that a missed kind of tempo-ish? So it looks a little bit disheveled now. We can bring the knight up, can't we? Just make sure. Let's just bring the knight up. So this looks ugly again. You know, for black, this looks ugly. But I'm appreciating that I'm trying to understand and demonstrate the aspect of the gambit developing your pieces keeping your pieces nice and developed now do i want to think about castling on the king side or the queen side at this moment in time i'm not too fussed i'm actually just going to bring my bishop here just in case i'm going to swing over onto the king side this knight's looking to cause us some trouble i'm just going to take it off the board i'm not going to deliberate Okay, so then I'm looking to take this knight off the ball because I have to have a two on one here. But that's a long drawn drawn out process. I think I'm brave enough to actually castle into the danger. And look how fast he's moved there. So we can actually touch onto this knight now with the bishop. Or I could just leave my bishop here. I've got options. Which one shall I go for? Get my queen off of the back. Just bring it up. Got to be careful of any potential forks here. I'm, I'm going to do that, bring the queen into the game. He's going to want to do something with his knight, attack the bishop, feeling that he's going to come round here. Queen's going to, going to come round, 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 something like that. 
Okay, so the bishop's attacking the queen, so I don't really have any issues with that because I'm just going to put a check through onto his king and just take the queen. He doesn't have to take our queen, he can just leave it there, I suppose. Does he have any other major attacks? Yeah, the knight come in, attack the bishop type thing. So I think being able to, yeah, look at that, that's a nice attack. Wait, well, that's a nice attack, what's going on there? So if we take this pawn, and then if his pawn takes back with him, we win, we win his rook. But we've got to be careful because his queen is there. So, is there something else that we can do? That's a nice defense. I thought we had him then. This bishop's got no protection on. Queen can come up, but am I trapping myself? If I come down, am I trapping myself still? <laughs> If I come down, if he pushes his pawn quickly, we can just take this pawn off. Yeah, so we're going to end up getting trapped, so we need to be careful. If we push up, he pushes down with his pawn. So, mate, did I just move them? Oh, I did as well. Damn, I thought I put it into the place that it was supposed to go back to. Never mind. Okay. So, this bishop's got protection with the queen at the minute. He's going to be thinking of trying to get around to our king somehow. So he's going to want to put pressure onto our bishop. So probably his bishop is going to come back and attack here. Uh -huh. So if we take, then his queen does squeeze into the little, little bit of a gap that he wants to get into. Just going to bring the bishop back here. Maybe sort the pawn structure out I don't think they'll allow allow us to do that so it's going to keep this position here while his knight comes around and attacks the bishop here then he gets his queen involved so his queen will go back so he's doubling up so how do we deal with that and he's still got the bishop protecting there so we can't push there just yet my queen is in a, what's it done it's coming facing off our queen. It's all about. Okay. Let's move the knight. Let's get the knight out of the way. Some sort of situation like this. Or even this, obviously. Attacking the queen. Yeah, that's not too difficult. It's just a bit of a jostling thing. I feel like we're being a bit strangulated, but now we need to try and get good position. We know the potential attacks. Whether or not we can stop those attacks coming on fully is um, a different kettle of fish, you know, potentially coming here. Yeah, so he's still coming down. We could actually just attack the queen, see if he wants to exchange, but I don't think he's going to do that. I think he's going to bring the rook here, so his rook's owning the file, which makes sense. Do, 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 do. So he's moved it out of the way, so it's not actually owning anything, but he's potentially looking to get his queen again, like I say, squeezing it down there somehow. What he needs is just drop that and then we can take that knight. Um, so the rook is going to be challenging our queen, so we need to get it off of that line and then get the rooks defending this pawn. So it all seems simple um, a bit of a dance going on and I don't like doing the dance so I really need to find something to take it's very defensive this stuff I'm doing here now he's just coming for an attack now so we could push up because if we take he takes then we take his rook I suppose that's not too bad but then he does have his bishop again um, I'm going to keep it simple because I'm, I feel like I've gone a bit too fancy it's still low to pieces on the board. It's actually gone with the rook. Oh, because he's attacking the pawn here. Let's go here. And he's trying to squeeze around here as well. Look at this. He's trying to squeeze his stuff in. Get the knight around. You know, that type of thing. Mm. Yes, this is not looking good. But we're still in the game. We're still in the game. We do have this lovely knight that is looking to sit here. I think that'll be the treasure once the knight gets here. It's not attacking anything major, but it's like 
managing a few squares that are quite key like I said look he's coming down for the night now he wants to be look, doubling up here uh, ooh, maybe not maybe not today so can we not bring the knight here instead Mm, maybe not because he's got this rook situation anti attacking here do we push the pawn I'm going to push the pawn because he's feeling really good that he's got this rook trying to do some damage knight's going to take the bishop where's my mouse gone whoa where's my mouse gone there so knight takes the bishop take here and everybody's happy but it's taking so long now I don't think he's going to do that he may be thinking need to get rid of this pawn so I'm going to push this pawn down onto it rooks don't have any place in the center of the board unless it's supported by something ah, he's blocking down I don't know if I think that's a mistake but I don't know if I can make it work for me let's go here and then we can push onto his rook because the knight's protecting this pawn. So he's gone for a bit of a lockdown thing here. And I'm hoping that that's made them lose the advantage that I believe they had in terms of squishing us. And this knight's indecision as to whether or not to take the bishop. So I think those two things, fingers crossed, have let the opponent down. I think he's still going to try and push here still trying to squish his queen in it's going to cause us some damage isn't it let's go here anyway like we said if he forgets himself and thinks that that's for free then we can grab it can happen it does happen and we do have that position and he's gone and defended that position there and okay so Scores on the doors, could go here, he takes, takes, that's no good for us. He's protected this pawn, queen could come there but no. And... What don't we like? This rook isn't really doing anything is it? Ooh, this pawn, quite tasty. Let's attack this pawn, why not? something to attack let's get rid of this baby oh, I'm not even looking at the time 157 so his knight's gone all the way back it's defending this pawn oh if we could only have an extra piece here just defending that if we got this rook here defending then we'd be able to get a fork if he doesn't see it and his knight's come down again attacking the bishop but he's also defending this square Ah. Gonna take the pawn. Has he got a fork? He moved there like it was so comfy. 51 seconds they're on. Okay, so could take this pawn by pressuring his bishop. Knight doesn't have any defenders. So I'd have to come back here if the queen comes and attacks it. The knight is attacking our queen. So we could come here. Then we've got a next rear through to his rook. But he's got like a 2 on 1 on. Uh, he's got a 2 on 1 on the pawn. Okay, so we'll go here. He's going to take the pawn, obviously. But the rook doesn't have anything defending. So the queen would be able to take if the knight took so he's now attacking ours our knight so i'm going to take the bishop knight's blocking at the minute but the queen is now going to be defending the rook so the knight will be able to take the pawn they're on 10 seconds at the moment so he's gone for the double on attacking our rooks okay so we'll grab the, his rook here
looks like the time's gonna run out that was a that was quite a tricky game yeah I liked it that was that was an interesting game I like that oh, straight on okay so this one's come on a bit quick so I must be getting into the realms now of playing the really really good players I found that when I play on for a long period of time on that um, suddenly they they get a little bit stronger <laughs> it's kind of surreal but let's capture let's just play our game try and use the snippets of yeah so I don't like this position either but when I've done my evaluation and analysis the computer always it takes the takes the night sometimes it does some fancy business but oh man what is this what is this okay so we're gonna grab he's gonna come and get the knight so it's a fancy way of getting the knight but it disturbs our king as well okay just bring this through here okay so this is new this is not new this is a uh, one of those funky type of openings let's just bring the knight here So trying to target this square here as soon as the opponents give it to us but this knight is just going to come and block that situation also attacking the pawn here so we need to give space for our rooks now so that we can at least try and double them up somehow so this is another ugly looking type of position this is not a position i would prefer to be in but the opponent's taken the chance to sacrifice the bishop for a quirky unusual position and these are the types of things that catch people out So I'm hearing quite regularly, oh, I'm just playing off my head now. I'm playing off my head. I'm not playing book. Uh, it's out of my prep and all that sort of stuff. Every game I play is off my head. I don't do prep in a sense. Um, if the opponent makes them, oh, that's an interesting one. So now we do have a pin here. Oh, damn. Okay. So they're probably going to resign now because the pin, bishop's bish, um, pinning through to the king yeah so when you prep i mean i think i've prepped for one get one player that was the champ that was a few years ago now and it was interesting doing that prep and um, because i did actually learn how the opponent played but then i had the fear factor when it actually came on to play that well what if he doesn't do what i've seen him do on all of those games um but it actually came out that it, they did so let's focus because this opponent's not actually resigned well they have <laughs> they have haven't they yeah yeah clocks have stopped okay fair enough i'm going to the next oh it's going slow what's happened something's freezing oh it's not going to be one of those funky games is it where the freezy moves uh, okay right let's go I'm gonna have to watch my mouse now then this looks like a freezer so we're capturing in this center as we do I've been trying to practice this non-movement of this not capturing this night I don't really like it because I do like to capture and follow the maneuver yeah, so he's going for it anyway always nice to try new things out so that you get a feel for what can potentially happen in the game just bring this knight out got to remember this pawn hasn't got any protection but I don't think you need to worry just yet because nothing's attacking it and castle king safety all simple stuff so I'm going to do simple just capture so the rook's going to be in the center of the board rooks we know rooks don't have any place in the center of the board so i think potentially giving this a touch got to be mindful of this bishop here i don't want to fall foul of this maneuver anymore so when i see a soft move like a king move i know why they're doing it so once his rook moves out of the way i think i'm actually going to do that But his rook's not gone all the way back so we could go challenging it again just to keep the pressure on it 
I'm actually going to do that smaller piece attacking a higher piece, can't be wrong. Don't like that move, gonna have to move it. It's only because his queen's behind there, but my queen is there. He's, oh, he's eyeing it up, look, he's eyeing it up. Mm, looks like I've given him some juice. So I'm going to just do this simple block with the bishop. Then a discover check on his rook with the bishop. So he's moved his knight. So I'm actually going to risk it for a biscuit. I'm going to take the pawn here. Because I've got the discover check on his rook here. Although that, yeah, yeah, that's right. Grab here. So his king is now in the open, so as far as we can see, we could look to attack it here, or we could take the pawn here with the bishop. We'll go with the checks first, I think. So I'm hoping it doesn't get this rook developed and this bishop's late to the party, so that's what I'm hoping. And I did expect his queen to come here, but he's not done that, so we've got a rook that can actually come and tantalize some pressure. I think he's looking to hide into this court little cubby hole here isn't he in fact that's the only way he can go isn't it oh missed that trick didn't i okay i'm going to bring this bishop here because the bishop can't take so we can put pressure on we don't want this rook to get advanced really as best possible try and keep as much pressure on the on them as possible He's doing a lot of blocking and stuff, which is really quite interesting. So if we did do that, his rook comes across here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. If I come here. Hmm, not happy with that. Grab a pawn, his rook comes and attacks. Where do we go from there? Then we end up just coming back again. That doesn't look too good, does it? If we go here, then we have the possibility of coming here. Yeah, we said we want to keep that rook trapped in the corner. So I'm actually just going to follow the process that we said. I don't think there's any point in opening up the rook and giving it some power down here. Let's keep that jammed in. It's looking to escape. That was a nice blocking he did with that knight. interesting okay keep focused keep focused and i've got to watch my mouse as well make sure it doesn't stick because we had a little bit of blurb at the start of this game and he's gone for it so we're gonna see if we can capture put a check on here still hasn't gone for the queen exchange we'll take here he really wants to hide in the corner here look at him okay so the rook is blocked out of the game altogether anyway so that's a good start for 10. Am I going to sacrifice my rook? I feel like I'm sacrificing this rook, you know. Maybe not yet. Shall we just go here? Face off the queen. Uh, he's going to be trying to get his rook out. Get his king there and then there. Is there anything else we can do? Do have a check on the king here. So fingers crossed it doesn't push that down, then we can lean on him a bit. Then his knight's gonna he's gonna basically be hiding all his pieces around his king if he doesn't get this pawn moved. Dun, 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 dun. Oh so he's moved the far pawn instead. Okay. Um so we're gonna go with the check like we said on the king. So it's either going to force the queen or the knights. Just what? He still doesn't. Wow. Okay, that's an interesting one because the queen can 
Well, yeah, the queen can take. I'm going to take. So I'm willing to reduce down because we've got a check on here. Okay, and then we can just take this here. So a rook against the bishop should be okay-ish. Let's just put pressure onto the bishop. It's going to go for the pawn here. We're just going to keep pushing. So he's either going to lose his bishop or we get a promotion. So he's gone for a little check, but that's really small potatoes in the grand scheme of things. Rook's on a dark square, so it's fairly okay. And let's keep pushing. So the bishop's going to lose its life, I think. So still have to be mindful he's got these three pawns against two so the rook's gonna have to do a bit of maneuvering so he's not actually done that so he's allowing the um, bishop to get promoted i suppose unless of course he's going to come here yeah he has gone there so let's go here so he's furthered down his pawns we do have a check on the king and this is where it can get a bit funky i suppose so we need to box cleverish let's just go here see what happens and let's push and let's just keep pushing and so if he pushes 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 let's see do we fall for something uh, you know what? I'm just gonna bring the rook down just in case there's any funky business and push and this is where it'll get all funky now isn't it not going to push past because it'll get taken so if it does take <coughs> excuse me so just push here come behind the pawn or grab it so you have to be mindful in those sort of situations you know you can get caught out i'm just going to push now got to look for no stalemate type situations they're moving very fast with the king i don't know why but let's go here and so this is what we'll do we'll do the little shuffle thing uh, should we do it this way yeah do it this way so it's kind of done now just keep the queen locked to the rook and then it's all over another smooth game crikey on a bit of a roll today okay so yep that was another nice one Okay, next seven minute game. To the brightness. Oh, this is a different kind of opening. Let's um, see if we can spread the wings a bit on this one. Interesting. Right, now what I don't want to do is do something crazy. So I'm just going to try and normalize it if I can and just castle so basically I'm trying to get all my pieces out as best possible so into a best position because even though it's a quirky kind of opening I might lose tempo trying to over exert so just bring the bishop here because that'll be the set plan you see you know this is why they can move really fast they said sometimes it's a set maneuver that i don't really know but the more i can try and develop my pieces the better i'm going to feel i suppose so i could bring my bishop here he brings his bishop back out to attack then his queen is hitting our king area okay let's go with it anyway brings the bishop out we can always kind of trap the bishop here so the bishop can't move so we've got a two on one there with the bishop and his knight is down so he's moved there dead quick so it makes you feel like there is some sort of set play thing going on so all he's doing is attacking our bishop at the minute i'm actually going to just take the bishop here so a bishop and a rook for a queen if he's going to take yeah okay so we'll take there put a little bit of a check on the king 
I can feel, I can feel that this opponent's used to playing like this because they, they seem to be getting advantage somehow. So I'm going to bring the knight up so it doesn't feel too good. Look how fast they're moving. So we can always take, give space for our knight to attack the bishop. So bring the knight here, got a 2 on one his knight comes round and protects. Look at that. All beautifully set played, isn't it? So he's got two pieces now attacking our bishop. Our bishop can take this pawn because his bishop can't take back. But he does have the menacing knights that are looking to come here. We do have a pawn that can take. So we have three pieces on there. He's got two pieces, well, three pieces as well defending. So I'm actually going to simply take just to where um, he's bringing the rook into the game. So he wants his rook facing our queen. Okay. So I'm going to smaller piece attacking a higher piece. I think he can just take the bishop anyway, can't he, with the knight? Yeah, it's all a bit too um, fancy dancy for me, is that? So I'm actually just going to take and just move my. His knight is going to come to this square, isn't it? Yeah, go this side. And then attack his rook. So I'm still trying not to be in the fears. Let's just grab now. And if we put a check on his king, does he have a... Let's put a check on the king. Still moving real quick. Let's attack this knight. Knight's defended. So we can develop our knight, attack the pawn. Fearful of background checkmate stuff going on in these pawns and stuff so we can grab the pawn here which is protecting the knight at the moment fingers crossed all is going to go well put a check on the king with the capture and if he ooh, I thought I was going to get a fork then um, is there a fork though is there some sort of situation how many pawns do I have I don't really want to give up the knight, really, do I? Just bring the knight back. Four minutes we've got, so that's okay. Stay focused. Uh, no forks just yet. Knight. Da -da -da. Do -do 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 -do. Must be something, some type of situation. We bring the queen here with a check. Kind of a fork. But his king can come back and defend and we could go and attack the queen king with the knight and this should be it really i mean i can take this pawn here or just move the knight move the knight attacking the rook twice and we can grab the rook now They're probably going to resign at this point. Maybe not. Okay. Um, just grab here. Don't need to overthink it now. Just make sure we don't have stalemate. But he's got pieces that can be moved. And he's coming down. Still continuing. Just going to bring the queen across here. And let's shoot for the stars. Let's go. Okay, so he's just going to block with his king. And he's going to keep blocking. So, let's go here. It's got pawns that can move, so no problems. Got to check on. Uh, 
trying to think. That might be it, might it? Oh, is that for a draw? Okay, maybe not. Alright, another nice game. Okay, pretty smooth so far. Um, was there any tricky situations during that match? I don't don't think there was, was Oh it was that funky opening that they did. Yes. Yes, the funky opening. So King Pawn opening type situation. Have to be very mindful. I mean it's probably a quicker win than what I got. Um, because it doesn't look like a very good opening. It's just yeah, I think you still have to be caref careful. You can go blasting in there and thinking you're winning and then you're losing tempo because of some sort of set play and the opponent I think did really well with this and because I'm wise to this sort of thing I didn't over egg anything because they still looked like it was a kind of set play sort of situation so we tried to utilize you know the two on ones the three on ones you know that type of situation to better our position on the board I think if we didn't know that those sort of concepts, we would have fallen foul of the King's Pawn opening situation. Yeah, so it's still dicey up to that point. Yeah, alright, interesting game.